This lesson was an introductory lesson to the Green Screen app by Green Screen by Do Inc. In class, students were learning about the six famous explorers. They're going to be in either pairs or with a, a, a group of three, something like that. And you know, each, each of you will write one fact down okay, about your explorer. And then you'll need to practice saying your line, just like in the morning when we do the news. The anchors and the reporters don't just come in and start doing it. They practice for 20 minutes before we ever go on where you guys are seeing them. Did you guys know that, that they practice every morning? All right, so they practice what they're going to say, so they're not just sitting there doing this, right? They're looking at the camera. So we're going to want you to practice your line, and then I'll be calling people over, and one of you will be filming the other person up here while the other person is talking and then you'll trade places so everybody will get a chance to say their line and be filmed. Okay? Does that make sense? So you'll get a chance to see how green screen by doing works. So right here there's a sample project and we're going to watch that sample project first so that you can kind of see how this works. So all I have to do is touch it and it will go into that project. It says, would it they'd like to access your photos? I'm going to tell it okay. And then I'm going to tell it to play. So do you see that little blue, wants to access the microphone, I'm going to tell it okay again. Okay. So right here, that blue arrow is where I tell it to play this tutorial. Hi, you know the green screen. After watching the tutorial, I demonstrate to students how to use the green screen app. And then you choose a new project. So here are the layers that we need to add in. There are three layers, but we're never going to use the top one because I don't have their green screen animation app. That's the one where they were making the little aliens and the balloons and things. I don't have that one. So we're always going to start at the bottom. The bottom is the background. Okay. So I click on the plus symbol right here. And I go look for images. Like I told you, I already saved the images onto the iPad, so they're there already. So I click image, and then it's going to take me to the photos that are on here. So I'm going to click all, and then you're able to scroll through. I've got some fourth grade projects that they're working on. I've got some second grade. I picked pictures that said which explorer it was. Not all of the pictures had that, like this one. Do you guys know who this one is? Yeah. He is, doesn't have a name, but I figured you would know who that is. And then there's one that has um, in ice. Do you guys know which one that one is? Yeah. 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 The rest of them, I think, have names with the person. So there's six of them. So those are the only two without. So now we know which one each one is. So let's say I'm doing Henry Hudson. I would click, I would touch his picture, which is what I'm doing here. And it brings it up. So <clears throat> then I click use to say that I want to use that picture as my background. And it has to be at the bottom. If it's in the middle or the top, it's not going to work. Okay, so I start at the bottom. Now I need to add the camera layer so that you can be filmed. So I go to the middle layer and I click the plus symbol. And then I click on camera. Now when I do that, it's facing me. So I have to turn the camera around. So I click on the camera at the top. So it's facing away. So as I move this over here, you can see there's his picture on the green screen because I've got the camera face that way. So I'm going to, all right, so I'm gonna, I just, I just made it go to sleep for a second because I wanna show you how that's gonna look up here without you being distracted by that. So can the four of you move over here for a second? All the way down there, sweetheart. There you go. All right, and then you are going to stand up in front of theirs. All right, now, I want to show you what this is going to look like, okay? All right, so, so I'm waking it back up. So listen right here. So I can turn my iPad either way. It doesn't matter. It's going to film going. <laughs> All right, so I want you to look, look at her over here for a second. You see how... Where she's standing, she's not really in a good spot. So I actually, it's not, I don't try to move my camera. I have her move. So I need her to move over. So I ask her to move, me as the camera person. And then if you're too far out, it, you see how it gets the edges? I don't want the edges. I want it to just be her and the picture. 
picture of Henry Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> right? So now, I need her to scooch. I'm going to have her scooch over a little bit. There we go. And I see how close I am? I'm pretty close. And the other thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to speak. <laughs> you're going to have to speak up. If you talk in a little voice, oh, I'm not going to catch your voice very well because the microphone on this isn't super powerful. So you're going to have to need to project your voice so the camera and the mic and the microphone can catch what you're saying. Once, you're not actually going to have to say anything because we're just, I'm just showing them. So once you're, as a camera person, are ready to record them, and you're standing just where you need to be, you're going to press the red button. Now, look at the big screen. You're going to see what happens. When you press the red button, you see how it says recording in five, four. So you need to count down. Three, two, one. Now it's recording her. She says whatever she needs to say, and then you press, no, press the black button to stop. And then if you're only, for what we're doing today, you don't get to do it again, right? You only get that one time because I have to get through everybody today. So other times, if you come and do a project and you want to use the green screen to be your project to show what you've learned, then you can come and practice what you're going to say first, right? Because we don't want you standing there reading. We want you to practice it so you're looking at the camera. But we would give you a couple tries if you had made a mistake or something. But for today, only the one time, okay? So once I'm done, I say save to the camera roll. And then I say okay. And then down here at the bottom, I say done. And then it goes back to where it was. So I'm going to put it to sleep again. Sorry. In the next part of the lesson, students are given iPads and assigned by their classroom teacher the explorer that they will be working on. So now, um, you are going to have an iPad with your partner. And when I assign you your, where Miss Kells assigns you your explorer, you're going to have an iPad. You're going to sit right here, and I'm going to go through those steps again so you can get the background picture and then you can get the camera layer. And then we're gonna put it to sleep just like I put mine to sleep so that then I can give you the next step of the directions. Okay? Next, as students have the iPads, we go through each step of setting up their project. I'm gonna go through it step by step with you, okay? So first of all, go find green screen by doing It's the purple or pink octopus. Now mine's in the middle of one. What did I tell you? If yours opens up in the middle of one, how do you go back to where you can create one? Because the arrow. Very good. <laughs> click the back arrow. So I'm going to click the back arrow. Give me a thumbs up when you're on this screen. Thumb up. Excellent. Now, who can tell me, what do I do to create a new project? Yes. Um, grab a different one, sweetheart. Sometimes it drops off, so we just... Get a different iPad. Yes. Excellent. Everybody plus the plus button. And then I click on create a new project. There you go. Okay. All right. So here I'm at. Who can tell me what's the next thing I need to do? Right here. The bottom plus. Everybody click on the bottom plus. Okay. Who can tell me what's the next thing I need to do? Yes. Image, excellent. Now, Miss Kels told you words, who your explorer is. So you click on all for all albums, then go find the picture of your explorer. Okay? So look at me up here, or look at the screen up here. Once you choose in the picture, right, what do I do next? Right here? Press use. Okay. Now, if yours is up there, on the background somewhere, give me a thumbs up. All right, give me a thumbs up if your picture is off to the side so you have space to stand. Okay? Thumbs up if you're ready. Okay? Excellent. Next, what do I do? What do I do next? Right, right here? Which one? There are three of them, so which one? The middle one. All right, everybody press on the middle. And then what do I do? Right here. Camera. All right, what do I have to do? Because it's facing me. Yes? Click the camera button. Click the camera. I need you to just go back just a little bit. Click the camera button right here to turn it around. All right, now, if yours now has both layers, I want you to put it to sleep. 
press on the, the power button just once to put it to sleep. If yours is asleep, turn it upside down like this, just so I know, okay? Students next looked up facts about their explorer. Because we have our background, but we now need to go find what we're going to say, okay? So I have laptops out over there, and I've got index cards. Do you see on the little purple bench the index cards and the pencils? Yeah. When I dismiss you, I'm going to dismiss you a group at a time, you're going to go to one computer. So you two will go to one computer. You'll go to you'll go log in. You'll go to Cobb Digital Library. And you'll go to World Book Kids. All of the explorers are in World Book Kids. You'll go search for your explorer in World Book Kids. And on the little three, on the little card, the little index card, you're gonna write one fact about your explorer, and then you're gonna sit there and practice saying it, like our anchors do in the morning. You're gonna practice saying it, and when I have everybody set up, I'm gonna have people come over and we'll start building you saying your fact. If you're in a pair of two people, how many facts are you gonna have? It's two, one for each of you to say, right? Okay, all right, does anybody have questions before we go over to do the, what we're gonna say part of it? You do, because we don't want to leave them on the floor where somebody could step on them. And we need to have it with you so we know which one is the one that you have the, the background set up for. Okay? All right. Is it this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then type in Henry Hudson. Well, Hudson, what do you want? I, I want mean Balboa. <laughs> Whatever his first name. Nunez something. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Where would we go after we search up, like, on the world book? Enter, and then click read more, right there. And then you try to fact. <laughs> I assisted students when they filmed, reminding them how to start, stop, and save their project. I'm going to help you because you're trying to hold it still. I'm going to hold it. You're going to count more nice and loud. You're going to speak nice and loud. Three, two, one. Okay, guys. Okay. 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 Okay
explorer Henry Hudson was an, was an explorer. He wanted to find a northern sea route to Asia. As an English explorer, he found the Hudson River and the Hudson Bay. Many North American waterways were named after Henry Hudson. Hudson River, Hudson Bay, and Hudson Strait. We're going to tell you a little about Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus's um, goal was to find the different, a shorter route to Asia. Columbus was an outstanding navigator and organizer of expeditions. From 1480 to 1485, Columbus made many journeys to the Canary Islands and the Azores. The Azores are groups of islands west of Africa. Columbus was an excellent explorer and navigator who was able to claim land for on to this one was this person was sponsored by Prince. She went to the new world what we live in Japan. This explorer was the first European to find the St. Lawrence River. If you guess Jacques Cartier, you're right.